Hi, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. So today I wanted to show our uh, test on our lithium batteries. Uh, these are CALB 180 amp hour cells, uh, 3.2 volts each. So you got to have four of them to essentially make the same voltage as a 12 volt battery. But of course it has uh, different charging parameters. So you need to make sure when you set up your solar system you have a charge controller uh, that you can uh, manually input uh, the uh, maximum charging voltage a few other parameters so a lot of the controllers these days will do it uh, including um, these uh, right up here that I sell these are kind of my go-to inexpensive um, MPPTs if you have the meter it's um, going to give you the ability to program a lot, I believe. I haven't done it yet, so that'll be part of this series, um, is setting up these uh, batteries to uh, charge with the solar. As it stands right now, I'm just testing the pack. Uh, there's a long ways to go. Uh, I just got it set up, and, and I'm just checking it out to see how it does. The biggest thing that I noticed immediately is that it's a uh, 12.9 volts right there and uh, that's what it was um, an hour ago that's what it was when it very when I turned on the lights um, that's what it stayed so normally lead acid batteries will fluctuate a lot you put a load on them they'll go way down even a, even a 10 amp load or something like that, and my big battery bank will go down quite a lot in voltage, at least in the cold right now. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's uh, winter, so you can kind of see outside. Uh, the temperature, you know, it gets, it's heated in here, but it gets probably down to the 50s or 40s. So, um, Point being is it's holding that voltage really good. And this is a very first impression, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, four cells in series, 180 amp hour, uh, 12 volt. Uh, just goes through a fuse into my bus bars. So there's the fuse right there into my bus bars. Again, this is just a really simple, easy setup. It will change a lot. I'm gonna have, of course, meters on every single one of these cells uh, so that I can read the cells individually. I don't have any kind of battery management system at all on it right now. But of course the key is that you gotta make sure that these four cells all stay the same voltage. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but as it stands right now, I'm just gonna put a meter on every single one of them because I want to know how quickly the battery cells become out of balance. So put an individual meter. I'll have a battery management system on there as soon as I get the information I know. But for the most part, right now I'm testing the capacity, the discharge rates, and uh, the charge rates, and um, how long it takes for these cells to become out of balance. Uh, they came perfectly balanced from the factory. They were all exactly the same um, and nice and high. So uh, there you have it. Thank you for watching my video, www.lightharvestsolar.com.